In this lesson, we're going to continue to discuss the options in the Find Change window. If you'd like to follow along, go under the File menu to Open, and in the Sample Files folder, scroll down to 0505, GREP for Designers, and just click Open. What is GREP? It actually stands for General Regular Expression Parser. It's a way of finding patterns in your text and making changes to those patterns. Now, it can involve some code. And I can see all of the artists actually running for cover right now. Well, the good news is you don't really have to use code to use grep. But if you would like to learn grep, there's a book available that's in PDF and ebook formats called Automating InDesign with Regular Expressions. And it's by Peter Carell. And you can find it at www.oreilly.com. And it costs less than $10. Why don't we open the Find Change dialog window? Go to Edit, Find Change, and we're going to go to the GREP section. The way you can use GREP without code is there are some queries that are available. There are presets that are already set up. Now, at the top of the pop up menu, these first three are actually in the text section. Why don't we try them? There's one that's called dash dash to m dash, and it puts the code that's necessary for that find change into the find what and change two fields. Why don't we give it a shot? Before we do, however, why don't I zoom in? I'm going to go to my zoom tool and just kind of click and drag across. And let's give it a shot. I'm going to hit find to make sure that it finds a couple of dashes and then change. And it actually does work. Now that we know that it's working, why don't we hit Change All? And it found additional dashes and made them into M dashes. Why don't we try another one? Go to the query pop up and go to Straight Double to Typographer's Quotes. What this is going to do is find inch signs and it's going to change them to the curly Q quotes. Not only is it going to change them to curly Q quotes, it's going to use the correct quotes for the beginning and the end of the quoted text. Let me hit Find. And it found the first inch mark, and I'm going to hit Change. And it did use a beginning quote. Why don't we hit Change All? And it found additional inch marks and made them into the correct quotes. Why don't we now go to the grep section? and go to the next query. How about change dash to end dash? Now, this is normally used for finding anywhere that people use the hyphen and is going to make it into an end dash, which is the correct dash as a number separator, a separator between a range of numbers like July 4th to 5th. Let me hit find, and there's actually no dashes in this document. Let me just click OK and continue. The next one is multiple return to single return. Let me select that. Any place there's double paragraph returns to add space between paragraphs, it's going to make it a single paragraph return. Let me hit Find to make sure it's working. And yes, it did find the first double paragraph return. And I'm going to hit Change. And yes, it is working. Now I can hit Change All. And it found additional double paragraph returns. Let me go back under that query pop up. How about multiple space to single space? And you can see how complex some of this code is. Let me hit find. And it did find multiple spaces. I'm going to hit change to make sure that it's working. And yes, it did get rid of all the extra spaces and made it a single space. I'm going to do find next. And there's more. I'm just going to keep hitting Find Next because there is another query that takes care of something called trailing white space. We'll get to that in just a minute. Now I'm going to hit Change for the next one and then Find Next, Change. So every place that there's multiple spaces in a row, it's going to get rid of those multiple spaces and leave a single space. Let me hit Find Next and Change and so on and so forth. Why don't we go to the next one, which is something that's called 
remove trailing white space. That's a little bit different. It's space that comes after the paragraph. It's almost as if the writer in Microsoft Word fell asleep at his keyboard and was leaning on the space bar at the end of each paragraph. Why don't we try find to see if it's working? And yes, it did find trailing white space. Let me hit change to make sure it's actually removing all of that trailing white space. And now, how about change all? And it did find a bunch of other trailing white space. But you can see the spaces that weren't trailing at the end of a paragraph, it didn't find or change them. That's the other query, which is multiple space to single space. Let me hit find and hit change all. And now it got rid of all of that internal extra spaces and left a single space. Let me go back under the query again and go to phone number conversion. What is that about? And you can see once again, it's fairly complex code. Let me hit find and see what it finds. Ah, it found a phone number that is using a dash format. So you can see this one is 908-234-5555. What is that going to do? Let me hit change to see what it does. And it actually changes it to the newer dot format for phone numbers. Let me hit change all now that I know that it's working. And it found 32 and changed them all at once. Now I want you to make believe for just a second that it was a thousand names and telephone numbers. It would change it that quickly. It can be a huge time saver. So even if you don't know code, you can use grep by using the pre-existing queries. We're going to continue discussing working with text in the next lesson.